Hello guys, welcome back to our Nutanix How to Series Episode 2. I am Susan from Infrastructure Department. Uh, in the previous video, we showed you the unboxing and mounting of the Nutanix blocks and we also performed the initial configuration of the Nutanix cluster. If we haven't watched that video yet, we have got the link in the description below, make sure to watch. And in today's video, we will show you about the Nutanix Prism element, which is the GUI console for managing the Nutanix cluster. So let's get started. So in the previous video, we ended up in a similar page like this. This is the Prism Element home page and we can log on to this page by logging into the cluster virtual IP with port number 9440. For this video, I'm going to be using the demo Nutanix site. So on the home page of Prism Element, we have got the hypervisor summary in the top left corner. This shows the version and the type of hypervisor that we are using. Over here, we can see the information about the Prism Central and we can launch it directly from here as well. Over here we have got the storage summary. This shows the total used and available storage in terms of logical and physical storage. Over here we, we, have, over here we can see the summary of the total number of VMs in the cluster. We have also got the hardware summary that shows the number of hosts, blocks. We have, over here we have got the hardware summary that shows the number of hosts and block in the cluster and the model number of the cluster as well. And then we have got the cluster wide summary of over here we have got the recent info about the cluster wide metrics such as controller IOPS, controller bandwidth, and controller latency. We can view this we can also view the current uses of CPU and memory in the cluster. Over here, we can see the summary of health of different components in the cluster. Over here, we can view the. Over here, we can view the. Over here, we can view the health summary of different components in the cluster. This part shows the data resiliency status of the cluster. We can view the recent critical warning and info alerts on the right side of the home page. And on the bottom right, we can see the number of events also. And on the bottom right, we can see the number of events in the cluster. So let's talk about different menus in Prism Element. In the health menu, we can view the overall health status of the different entities in the cluster. In the health menu, we can view the health summary of different entities in the cluster. We can also perform various health checks in the cluster. Over here, the checks are categorized as past, failed, warning or error. In the VM menu, we can view, edit and create different virtual machines for the cluster. We can also create the related network for the VMs. At the end of the page, we can view the summary of different virtual machines in the cluster. We can also view the we can also view the charts of we can also view the charts of different metrics of the virtual machines. Also, we can view all the recent VM tasks that are performed in the cluster. By selecting a particular VM, we can view the summary of that individual. By selecting an individual VM, we can view the summary of that particular VM as well. In the storage menu, we can view the overall summary of storage in the cluster. We can view the physical and logical space. We can view the space available. We can view the used and available space in the cluster. We can view summary of we can view summary about we can view summary of the storage containers in the cluster. We can view the real-time metrics of the storage in the cluster. And we can also view the different alerts and events regarding the storage. We can also create the storage containers and volume group from this menu. We can also see the summary in diagram or table view. From the network menu, we can visualize the networks in the cluster. In the hardware menu, we can view the hardware summary of the cluster. We can also view it in the diagram and the table view. We also have the option. We also have the option to create a file server in the Nutanix cluster. In the data protection menu, we can create protection domains. From the data protection menu, we have the option to protect our data. From the data protection menu, we have the option to protect our data to a different cluster. We can add. We can add a remote site 
and create protection domains. We can create remote sites and protection domains to protect our data to a different cluster. From the analysis phase, we can create our custom charts depending on the metrics or entities in the cluster. We can also view the alerts and tasks in, in detail in these menus. From the alerts and tasks menus, we can view the alerts and tasks in more detail. We have the option to upgrade all our components in the cluster from the LCM menu. And finally, in the settings menu, we can manage various components in the cluster. In the analysis space, we can create different custom charts for the cluster. We, the charts can be made for different entities or metrics in the cluster. From the alerts, from the alerts and tasks menu, we can view the alerts and tasks in more detail. From the LCM menu, we can perform various lifecycle management tasks in the cluster. And finally, we have the settings space from where we can configure the settings for various components in the Nutanix cluster. Let me show you some of them. In the cluster details space, we can view the cluster IDs, cluster name and cluster birth, cluster name and cluster virtual IP. In the image configuration page, you can upload images for configuring various virtual machines. In licensing page, we can view and update the license in the cluster. And in the upgrade software and in the upgrade software part, we can view and upgrade software components. And in the upgrade software part, we can view and upgrade various software components. From the network configuration, we can create various networks for the virtual machines. We can also add the NTP and SNMP servers. In the users and roles section, we have the option to integrate the AD server to the prism element. We can also add local users to the prism element. Also, we have the option to assign roles to the added users. We also have the option to add email ID of alert email recipients. We can also view various alert policies. And finally, we have the option to add the SMTP server. So this is all about Prism Element Overview. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll find it useful. In the next video, we'll guide you through creating VMs and networks in prison management. So keep watching till then. Thank you.